Um, thanks for joining us and welcome along. We've uh, got a fantastic short interview uh, with John Yeo joining us live from Melbourne to talk about the benefits of Zoom. Good afternoon, John. Hi, Tony. Thanks for inviting. Thank you. Let's start with the first question, the importance of Zoom in 2021 versus others. Yeah, I look, I, I think it's pretty inevitable to say that virtual is here forever. To what degree that stays, we won't know as uh, COVID unravels or disappears or whatever word you want to use. But I think it's imperative that we have that capability to reach out and give us not only the agility, but also the option to work with clients, both in live and virtual. And Zoom, for me, has been a real game changer. Fantastic. Well, what features do you actually like about Zoom? Because there's so many packed into the Zoom packages. Um, what are some of those features you, you like and, and why do you like them? Yeah, so for... Uh, a good couple of years I've actually been watching this space because, you know, being part of TED as well, we're always watching different platforms and options. And we considered a whole bunch of free and paid options, the usual ones that everyone has probably heard of. And we really found that Zoom gave us um, a few real benefits. The first one is universality. Everyone seemed to be familiar with it. You didn't have to teach anyone or train anyone or help anyone specifically around how to use it. So that was the, the, a big reason. The second one was the, the fact that it, it was, even though it had some hiccups initially, was iterating fast enough to incorporate new features that were also useful in addition to the basic stuff like this basic meeting. And I think the core one was our ability in my work, especially when I'm doing facilitation, is the breakout rooms, to have side conversations, to have intimate conversations. When you've got rooms of hundreds of people at the, or even 20 people, the ability to break them up, have those unique conversations and then come back together, I feel is, is a natural um, way to connect and engage and in an intimate way and still have that mass reach. So, you know, for, 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 for myself and for, for TEDx Melbourne, breakout rooms were by far the standout feature. And I don't believe any other platform does it as well or as smoothly as, as Zoom does. How have you found, John, like your, your audience has transitioned? Because obviously in 2020, your, 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 your TEDx Melbourne events were all physical events and, and yeah. very popular being physical events and having to switch to a virtual uh, forum. How yeah. did you find your audience responded to that? Well, we were, you know, what I, I think the community in general, not just TEDx, were very open in a way necessary to, to move to the virtual space. I mean, we were lucky enough. And we did some metrics on this. We're quite specific. We got our net promoter score from 51 to 90, which is, you know, pretty substantial improvement. And I think Zoom was a, was a significant part of that. The ability to create that intimacy, the ability to have those meetings quickly, the ability to, to, to record them and share them, um, have them transcribed in terms of the PSA offering was, was a significant advantage for us in terms of how we, you know, engage with our community and continue to stay engaged with our community. That's fabulous. Well, you know, PSA actually offer a fantastic Zoom package. So what would you say to people that might be considering Zoom or certainly to consider the PSA Zoom package? Yeah, look, I mean, for me, I'll be honest here, Zoom saved my business last year. Um, it shortened my sales cycle by integrating with my calendar system so they could book automatically without me having to find dates and then find an appropriate Zoom link and connect them all and put them in an email, make sure it all worked. Uh, it expanded my market as people found my link. A lot of international people started booking times with me um, and it opened me up to the international markets, especially when Melbourne in particular was in that very hard lockdown. Um, most of my work was international, people just connecting with me via Zoom. So it was, it was gold there. And, and the other one was really around streamlining in general. Everything got simpler and easier and more integrated. And I, you know, because of that universal nature of Zoom, pretty much every major platform integrates it in some way, shape or form. And I think that's a significant advantage even when you're automating some of the more basic core um, service offerings and communication offerings in, in a business. So in, in wrapping up then in 2021, your message to everybody as far as Zoom's concerned and in particular PSA Zoom package would be? Oh, so where do I start? I, I look, I think, I think if you're not committed to virtual, you're really doing yourself a disservice. If you're not considering streamlining and expanding your market, you're doing yourself a disservice. And if you're not thinking about how your customers are using or integrating communicating, of which Zoom is a very significant player, I think you'll give yourself a very significant disadvantage by not doing it. 
Um, the savings alone for the enterprise package is worth the price of the PSA membership. So, I mean, you're actually in front 